What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on this Friday night party night. December 4th, 2020 is a date today about 8.40 p.m. West Coast time in the glorious state of California. Sarcasm highly announced there with the latest quake on the globe there. A 2.5 striking the uh, areas along the West Coast. They're pretty active out here along the West Coast, Nevada, and also into... Uh, parts of Idaho as well. We'll go ahead and take a look at that activity over the last uh, 24 hours or so. From the folks at the USGS, um, well, you can see that uh, 2.5 as I mentioned there in Nevada. Not really along the west coast, but definitely a part of the, the western part of the North American plate there. Still seeing some activity. Only seven earthquakes showing here along the 2.5 earthquake map. So we'll go down to the all magnitudes and we get a broader scale of the activity taking place out here in the desert of Nevada. Big jump from 7 to 186 earthquakes out there um, in Nevada, including parts of uh, central Southern California around the Mammoth Lakes area as well. Mammoth Lakes, Long Valley Super Volcano right here. Seen some specific earthquake activity within the Caldera, Caldera area. Some microquakes there along the Long Valley Super volcano region. No major movement to report at the moment, but uh, that's all we need, right? A super volcano blowing up to end the 2020 year in Southern California. Some microquakes taking place south of the area that is swarming out there in the Mina area of Nevada. Of course, this area has been seeing a pretty huge cluster of quakes following the 5.1 earthquake that struck out there a couple days ago. This is all an aftershock sequence of the six point, uh, I believe it was a 6.5 that struck back there earlier this year. I can't remember what month, but uh, definitely a, a bigger earthquake that struck out there earlier this year. In fact, I went out there and uh, kind of cruised the area with the support of the YouTuber uh, community out there. They uh, provided me with enough uh, um, funds to go out there and research the area kind of you know go over the area and see if I could see any type of uh, geological uh, movement and also any type of fractures out there along the fault system I did not see anything while I was out there but it was definitely interesting to uh, explore the region out there for sure a little bit different activity compared to what we've seen over the past couple months here the 5.1 has triggered a massive amount of aftershocks and swarming within this region well to the west of where we've seen the normal activity following that six point uh, the six pointer earlier this year uh, so uh, not for sure what's going on out here in this little bowl of a valley out there in the desert there was not a whole lot of activity out there there are some old mine shafts and uh, some obviously some uh, weak spots out there in the crestal areas of the Nevada desert but uh, this this activity is definitely uh, uh, pretty crazy. 153 earthquakes just within this small little map. Most of them microquakes ranging from surface about 0.5 kilometers down to about 9 kilometers or so. I'll take that back about 12, 12 kilometers below the surface there for that uh, deeper earthquake. So definitely some interesting activity going on and taking place out there in the Nevada region. Uh, Pacific Northwest, pretty quiet. Uh, Oregon's pretty quiet. Looking up here around the Mount Rainier area, just some small microquakes around the summit. Uh, not a whole lot of new activity to report there. Yellowstone National Park, we'll get to that here in a second. Idaho, just showing some microquakes up there. Not a whole lot of movement. 2.5 near Stanley, right along the Sawtooth Fault Junction or Sawtooth Fault area out here. You can see that. Uh, Right about ending right there where those earthquakes are taking place there. So we've been kind of monitoring that region as well. Yellowstone National Park. I'm having some trouble accessing the Yellowstone Seismic Network here. It's a site that I normally use for my Yellowstone Seismograph Overview from the isthisthingon.org website. It is not functioning. So therefore I have to go to the University of Utah website to view any type of seismograph activity. Uh, or, or earthquake activity along the seismograph stations there in Yellowstone National Park. 
Uh, you can see this uh, this map from the uh, university here showing pretty much the last two weeks of activity, last two days, last two hours. Uh, but I do like to pay attention to the live seismograph stations uh, when it comes to monitoring the activity. And of course, we got to zoom in here. It's a pretty cool website. I don't use it too often because I'm pretty dependent on the other uh, website website that I use for the uh, overviews of Yellowstone seismographs there. So not a whole lot of movement, folks. Um, the swarming that was taking place up there around Yellowstone Lake, Lake Yellowstone, has calmed down a little bit, has not completely stopped. You can see a few earthquakes there over the last 24 hours spiking there. A couple smaller ones there uh, over the last six hours in that area. Uh, as we take a look here down towards the, uh, let's check out the western part here. There were little thumb or little west thumb. You can see some small microquakes taking place as well. Little thumb creek. There we go. But uh, overall, the general seismic activity has calmed down uh, tremendously there in Yellowstone National Park but uh, this is a really cool website to check out um, if you want to know about information there throughout uh, Utah up into Wyoming area there's quite a bit of uh, news articles and whatnot when it comes to the uh, activity has taken place including they even have a little discussion about uh, recent earthquakes in the Yellowstone area uh, you can see that little swarm that took place there, right? Remember when I was doing the update video? I talked about uh, more than the 7 to 10 earthquakes that were showing. I estimated probably well over 100. According to this article, to date, we have located 100 earthquakes. Magnitudes range from uh, 0.7 to 2.6 or so. They finally caught up with the large swarm that took place in a very short amount of time there it's you know it, it takes a while to decipher every single earthquake that took place during that little swarming uh, area there at yellowstone national park but uh, it definitely caught up uh let's see here so yeah this here is the uh, little overview of the last couple weeks or so of earthquake activity in the yellowstone region dating back from november 19th there can see that swarm that took place there in the magnitude level of the swarming um, but for now for now it has calmed down a little bit so uh, what else we got here as far as the United States go not a whole lot the Nevada stuff like I said still cracking out there Southern California not a whole lot to mention out there West Coast relatively quiet in fact, the Pacific Ring of Fire, check this out. The western part over here along the Japan area, up through Russia, down into the Indonesia area, pretty quiet, folks. I mean, this is a, it's, it's very, it's, it's an oddball scenario here. We haven't seen a tremendous amount of movement in this region for, uh, for a little while. So, uh, something building, something definitely going on out there. This is not the normal earthquake activity that you would see over the last 24 hours or even within the last week. Hawaii on a different level here. There's some uh, some major movement going on out there in the big island. Uh, we'll go ahead and go down here into the, uh, the beautiful island of Hawaii where they had a 4.1 earthquake that struck earlier today. Uh, this earthquake struck pretty much right around the Mauna Loa area right beneath the northwest flank to be exact uh, the earthquake was centered about uh, 14 miles east northeast of, uh, of uh, Hanua hopefully I pronounced that correctly at a depth of, depth of about three miles it was in a specific location there where they have seen uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity over the past several years so this is not abnormal according to the USGS um, there was some <coughs> excuse me oh my gosh that's my second sneeze <coughs> third sneeze that I've ever done here on this channel <laughs> oh my gosh that's that's crazy I apologize for that folks I'm not really getting sick but man just all of a sudden 
sneezes out of nowhere. Um, so yeah, there was some uh, reports being felt out there around the region. 4.1 definitely going to uh, be felt by quite a few folks there, especially at a depth of about 4.7 kilometers. Now, according to the USGS, this is not a sign of any type of magma intrusion. Uh, it does not specifically represent a significant departure from the seismic activity rate uh, for the past year. So the volcano alert level for Mauna Loa will remain at advisory. They have not upgraded that at all. Um, other monitoring data systems such as the deformation, you know, the GPS systems and whatnot have not indicated any type of increased activity that would uh, indicate uh, obvious increased volcanic hazard um, in the region. So that's from the USGS folks there. But we are still monitoring that region. In fact, the big island seeing a tremendous amount of movement over here towards a Kilauea volcano as well. So it's not specifically the Mauna Loa uh, or any type of uh, of uh, volcano over here. It's just uh, in general, every, every area seems to be picking up in activity. Uh, check out the Mauna Loa area. We're going to go back here. Uh, let's go back the past seven days or so and we can take a look at the trail of movement, if you will, okay? Now, it doesn't take no rocket scientist to see that trail of movement towards the, Mono, uh, towards the Kilauea crater area, right smack dab in the Kilauea volcano area. Uh, they have seen a little bit of deformation there, which indicates magma intrusion, magma injection, and refilling of the magma chambers. Of course, this area has seen a, a tremendous amount of magma lava release. Uh, I can't remember what year it was, but it's only been, what, two or three years, I think, 2017, 2018, when that uh, area seen a uh, quite a bit of movement. So potentially, we're looking at a recharging of the system, although the earthquakes over here are indicating some very shallow depth uh, in, in this area, including this trail of movement towards the Kilauea, Kilauea volcano. Um, we have to look for deep earthquakes, folks. That's the obvious sign of... Um, some deeper magma intrusion, which could be a, a massive amount. But uh, for now, we're just looking at a little bit of shallow movement leading into the area. Uh, same down here along the southeastern part of the uh, Big Island. Most of this activity pretty old, though. Uh, but we are still monitoring the region for uh, volcanic activity. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Uh, well, according, I want to show you guys real quick here the Hawaii Volcano Observatory from the USGS here. And they talk a little bit about activity going on there at the Mauna Loa Volcano, still, which sits at a yellow advisory um, as of this date today, which uh, is not that big of a deal. It's a very active volcano. It's one of the, It's obviously the biggest one out there. You can see the outline of the legend right there indicating the uh, the uh, extreme depth of how big this earthquake or this uh, volcano is. It's a shield type basalt volcano. Most recent eruption was back in March 24th and uh, through the area of April 15, 1984. Threat potential at this moment, uh, well, I guess in general is very high but at this moment we're still looking at just a yellow advisory. But, you know, things can change. We look for earthquake activity, and that's what's kind of happened over the past 24 hours, but uh, it has stopped at the moment. Um, but we will definitely keep an eye on it. The Mauna Loa name, Hawaiian name, means Long Mountain. Long Mountain. That's pretty cool. I didn't, did not know that. Mauna Loa is among Earth's most active volcanoes, having erupted 33 times since its first well-documented historical eruption back in 1843. It has produced large uh, volumes of uh, flows of basalt that have reached the ocean eight times since 1868. It last erupted back in 18 or 1984, back when I was a kid, uh, when lava flow came within about seven kilometers of Hilo the largest population center of the island. Uh, Mauna Loa is certain to erupt again 
and with such uh, propensity to produce large flows. We carefully monitor the volcano for signs of unrest. Well, obvious, right? But then again, folks, if you live right next to a volcano or you choose to live right next to a volcano, you should be uh, aware of the consequences that uh, are subject to your future. Uh, so right now, like I mentioned, advisory, yellow. Mauna Loa volcano is not erupting. Rates of deformation and seismic seismicity have not changed significantly over the past week and remain above long-term background levels, folks. So we are monitoring it as always. Uh, far as... Uh, what do we got here? Far as the... I'm trying to find the trimmer map here real quick. Trimmer map from the USG or from the uh, folks there at the PNSN website. Not a whole lot of movement. We're only looking at about 50 epicenters of trimmer in the uh, Oregon area and also parts of southern Oregon near Medford. So activity has calmed down. Does not mean that the threat level is diminished. Just means that the trimmer along the subducting part of the uh, slow slip area along the Cascadia subduction zone has calmed down a little bit. So, folks, Earthmaster, Earthmaster Mail ja, dot, or uh, at Gmail dot com is a my email that I use for um, for viewers and also for any type of uh, sponsors and whatnot. They want to get a hold of me. This is a web. This is an email where you can uh, get a hold of me pretty quickly. I check it obviously as soon as I get an email, right? I get an alert, so obviously I'm going to read it. If you have any suggestions, any comments, any uh, inquiries that you're interested in about any of my videos or any information that you see on any of my videos, I recommend that you get a hold of me through Earthmaster Mail at gmail.com is my email address please do not send me spam <laughs> that'll get you blocked immediately um but uh if you have a question in general if you just want to say hi or whatever you're more than welcome to send me an email um and i will reply that is the quickest um that's the quickest action you can do to get a hold of me very quickly comments i try to get caught up on the comments but it's kind of hard uh, especially through all the spam and and whatnot but uh i do i try to get through the comments but email earthmastermail at gmail.com that is the quickest way to get a hold of me um, almost immediately so uh what else we got here folks yeah yellowstone national park uh like I said, I'm not for sure what's going on. I can't get a hold of their website, or at least the uh, overview of Yellowstone. As far as I know, the webcam is still down. I haven't checked it today, but um, I'm guessing it's still down. I'll probably check that here after the update video. Um, a whole lot going on, folks. we got the Saturn-Jupiter uh, conjunction coming up on winter solstice. And, uh, you know, that hasn't happened from our Earth perspective since the, uh, well, since about 800 years ago. That's a major, uh, major move, major time that has passed. As far as the sun goes, we're looking pretty quiet for the most part. Relative uh, sunspots have calmed down tremendously. You can see the latest from the uh, spaceweather.com website uh, indicating that uh, no, uh, this this specific sunspot area has gone pretty gone pretty quiet and seems to no longer pose a threat for any type of strong flares. In fact, uh, according to the forecast here, only a five percent chance over the next 24 hours of a Class M flare. And that's very very low when it comes to solar activity so but you know it's waking up there's some definite movement out there definite uh eye candy if you will when it comes to solar activity on the uh, sun i definitely like seeing this activity and i'm sure over the next few years this is going to ramp up and maybe ramp up too much 
we'll just have to see how the sun wants to uh wants to react with the earth so all righty folks um stay safe out there it is friday night the earth is not going backwards it's going as it should and uh we're just kind of keeping an eye on things out there you know like i said pretty quiet out here along the western part of the uh the pacific plate but uh man it's just we're kind of waiting it's kind of a waiting game we'll see what happens over the next uh next couple days or so please stay safe folks we are living in very very interesting times here I'll probably do a little bit more update on the uh saturn jupiter conjunction on december 21st over the next couple days or so i'm kind of putting something together here i don't want to go into any type of conspiracy theories or whatnot but uh it's definitely uh something to take note of you know when we get these special alignments and whatnot in the stars it's obvious signs of uh, uh or potentially a message out there so to speak but uh i'll cover that a little bit more once i get this uh, video put together in the meantime have a good night folks please stay safe out there we'll chat you guys another time peace